Mirancho, a popular Mexican restaurant in Great Falls, has reopened in a brand new location. MTN's Tommy Lynch checks out their new site. After losing a location in August, Mi Rancho is back in Stadium's building. On August 31st, Mi Rancho had to close its doors at its Holiday Mall location. Less than six months later, they are back open, this time in the same building as Stadium Sports Bar and Casino. We wanted to reopen this one. It's our main restaurant. But we found this location, thought it'd be a really nice place to have it. Mi Rancho is not simply Stadium making Mexican food. It is a separate entity entirely from a restaurant with years of experience. We run the kitchen ourselves. We just share the bar with them. Mi Rancho is excited to share the space because they want customers to know that they are a family-friendly establishment that everyone can enjoy. You can come in with your kids. You can come in with the whole family. Come eat, have fun in the games. You know, we have the arcade, the, the casino now. So kind of shows a good time for the whole family. Although they only just opened for business on January 13th, they are already thinking about expanding to another location in the future. We are trying to look at possibly opening in Missoula soon. So it's going to be probably a few years before that happens, but we are looking to open a Missoula location. Mi Rancho is open seven days a week, and they are excited to start serving Great Falls once again. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News. The Great Falls Animal Shelter's annual Home for the Holidays adoption event was a success, leading to more than 80 animals finding their forever homes. MTN's McKenna Holman got an update from the shelter on how they're doing now. Despite taking in 95 new animals, the Great Falls Animal Shelter was able to reduce their in-care animals to just 78. They attribute their success to the community support and education efforts. The shelter is still at nearly max capacity, but they are no longer well over capacity and are able to care for all of their in-care animals. We found homes for quite a few animals, especially some of those long-term residents um, that we were having trouble getting into homes that had been here for some time. They got adopted for the holidays, which was fantastic. Um, we are always running at high capacity, but right now we're at comfortable capacity. So we have a good capacity of care for all of the animals that we have right now. Um, but we are looking at going into uh, the cold season, obviously, where people are more apt to pick animals up and bring them in so that they stay warm. Uh, so we are well positioned for the influx of animals that we're, we're expecting to receive in the, in the coming months. For more updates on the shelter, you can visit our website at krtv.com. The 2024 Montana Educational Support Person of the Year was recently announced, and it's a school district secretary from Billings. Q2's Haley Monaco met up with the woman who was always lending a helping hand while having a smile on her face in tonight's Positively Montana. Here at Burlington Elementary School, when you ring the buzzer to be let into the building, you'll be greeted with a very warm welcome. Welcome to Burlington. Come on in. This is Beth Verlanik. I am the school secretary here at Burlington Elementary. While that may be her official title, she is much more than that to everyone she works with. She really is the glue that holds our school together. And the Montana Education Association, Montana Federation of Teachers, thought the same about Verlanic. I was just so honored. Giving her the 2024 hard. award for Montana Educational Support Person of the Year. I, I feel like I just do my job and I come to work and I do my job and I don't feel like I'm extraordinary. It's so much fun and I like my job so much that I kind of feel like it's kind of unfair to get an award for it. Are you eating your lunch, so, Gwen? While awesome. she may be humble, the principal right. at the school, Leah Yesenik, says the award was well-deserved. Beth has been a lifesaver. Yesenik became the principal just last year, and with Beth by her side, she's been able to navigate the new position. Well, at Burlington, our mission is that we strive for excellence, and I think that she is one of our greatest models. Whether it's giving out high fives, stickers, snacks, or even band-aids, the students and staff can always count on Verlanik. A friendly and award-winning face at Burlington Elementary. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.